we don't have quit in our bones. That has been a, a really valuable lesson I learned from my grandpa. I'm Amanda Radke, and this is how I was raised to rise. My grandpa is Alvin Knowles, and he served in the Korean War. He came home and met his wife, Devona, and they eventually moved to the place that we're located on, on north of Mitchell. A lot of the neighbors uh, laughed and said, oh, he's just a dumb kid. He'll lose the place. And when he talked about that, he would chuckle because in his mind, those doubters kind of fueled his fire. And it was sort of like, you know, watch me go, watch me do this thing. And him and grandma worked really hard. They had that farm paid off in just a couple years time. And so being able to kind of persevere has been a huge lesson that I learned from my grandpa, Elvin. And to know the other side of the story, Arnold and Carol Wink, uh, farm and ranch by Lake Preston, South Dakota. Uh, Arnold was one of the first people to bring the Charlet breed to the state of South Dakota. He often jokes uh, that in 1958, he got the two loves of his life. Uh, he bought his first Charlet and he also married his wife, Carol. And they're internationally known for the Charlet that they raise. I really credit Grandma Carol a lot to getting me started in my career in the beef industry and being kind of a vocal advocate for what we do. And so she really taught me the ropes at a young age. My role has really been on reaching out to the general public and trying to share our story. So I use uh, Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, Twitter, uh, to kind of be a launching pad to have these discussions. So in 2011, I wrote my first children's book titled Levi's Lost Calf alongside another rancher. And I've had the great honor of traveling across the country and reading my books at countless elementary schools uh, to get to show them who a rancher is and what a rancher is really like and the things that we learn uh, over time from previous generations. Uh, those things are, are critical to our success and that's what I hope and pray I can pass down to my kids as well.